Well, the day before John Dew was made a bishop, um, I was at the nunciature in Wellington, Archbishop Thomas White, who was an Irishman, was the nuncio in those days. And he called me aside and spoke to me about the situation here in Palmerston North, because some months before or the year before, Bishop Peter had had a very bad heart attack. The decision had been made that there should be, well, not an auxiliary so much as, as a coadjutor, but it was expected that he would certainly resign. And so they wanted a, you know, somebody to take over or somebody be, to be there. An auxiliary bishop, of course, is someone who's asked to help the bishop of the diocese. The coadjutor is someone who's about to take over because the bishop is dying or something. So the story among bishops is that the auxiliary comes down in the morning to the bishop of the diocese and says, how can I help you today? What can I do? But the co-duty comes down and his question is to the bishop, how are you feeling today? And that was that. A day or two later, I was one of John Dew's assistants, two assistants for his consecration. And I remember the, the town hall in Wellington seeing him prostrate on the floor for the litany of the saints and thinking, oh, golly, you know, I could be the next one down on the floor. And I was. However, this was May. He had his 25th Jubilee in May of this year. And uh, the months went on, and I thought, I think the sounds as though they must have forgotten about it, because it went on and on and on. But then, in the very beginning of November, I was at the Tuna Retreat House with the other priests of the Wellington Diocese for uh, our annual retreat. And there was a phone call for me, and I recognised the number, that's that's the Nunsitra. So, and this is what it was, it was Archbishop Thomas White saying, well, you know that matter that I spoke to you about a couple of months ago? I said, five months ago. Okay, five months ago, he said. Well, the Pope wants to know whether you're going to accept it or not. And I said, well, have I got time to think about it? He said, no, you haven't. You just told me you've had five months. <laughs> and this was sort of tongue-in-cheek humour a bit. So that was that. So the 10th of December, which is coming up, will be my 25th Jubilee.